The world's tallest skyscraper would be suspended upside down from an asteroid. An asteroid orbiting Earth would serve as the foundation for the world's tallest structure, a floating skyscraper that never touches the ground. Hey, and welcome back to another exciting video from our channel. In this video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the Analama Tower, the world's first floating skyscraper. But first, subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon, you never miss another video from us, you already know that, so let's get started. The Clouds Architecture Office in the United States designed Analemma Tower. The, the concept's brilliant, but let's break it down into simple steps. Number one, capture an asteroid and place it in Earth's orbit. Number two, attach a cable to the asteroid. Number three, construct the world's tallest skyscraper around this cable. Number four, have the skyscraper swing in a figure eight pattern around the world, always returning to New York City. It all sounds insane, but the thing is, some really smart people are behind the technology behind this concept. So how does one capture an asteroid? NASA's DART spacecraft is currently speeding towards an asteroid called Dimorphos above our head, or your head as well. It will collide with Dimorphos, diverting its path away from Earth, similar to the Armageddon plot, but you know, without Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck. So moving asteroids isn't such a crazy idea after all, but let's get back to the Analemma Tower. The asteroid's anchor would be 50,000 kilometers, or 31,068 miles, above Earth's surface. All of the cables are hidden beneath the ground, and the skyscraper begins at an elevation of 32,000 meters, or 19,883 miles. It's negative 40 degrees at that elevation. When it's that cold, both Celsius and Fahrenheit are the same number. There's only 42 minutes of daylight left, and the tower descends until it reaches the bottom section at an elevation of 3,400 meters, or 2.1 miles. At that elevation, the temperature is negative 4 degrees Celsius, or 24.8 degrees Fahrenheit. If you were to live or work in the Analemma Tower, you'd need a drone to get to your balcony, which is why the bottom tip is reserved for office spaces and shopping and entertainment zones. It also serves as a transportation hub. The farming and agriculture are in the middle section, and the residential zone is above that. At the very top is a little depressing. It's basically a funeral home slash graveyard. The Analemma Tower is constantly moving, but the slowest point of it is swung over New York every day. That is technically your primary address. However, you would be able to look out the window and find yourself in the Southern Hemisphere, perhaps looking down at the beaches of Brazil. Masayuki Sono, one of the firm's partners, spoke up to Architectural Digest about the concept. When we took a step back and examined the broad sweep of architecture over a long period of time, even going back to its origins, we discovered a clear trend. Buildings are becoming taller, thinner, and lighter over time, according to Sono. By leaving the surface, we can allow our planet to heal itself. Dead concrete highways and sprawling concrete urban agglomerations that choke the Earth's surface will no longer be required. When you consider Elon Musk's push to colonize Mars, the floating skyscraper idea ain't too far-fetched. There is a huge push towards space travel, and it isn't just mega billionaires like Musk and Bezos who are looking to the stars. The United States has allocated $24.04 billion to NASA's budget for 2022. NASA's main focus is the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon. Following that, the Artemis missions will focus on sending humans to Mars by 2040. And that's all we got for now. Thanks for your time, and what are your thoughts on the world's first floatable skyscraper? Tell us in the comment section below. And if you liked it, please share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for all more exciting content like this and stuff. See you in the next one.